Time and space are like a fabric, uh, like rubber, like a trampoline net. However, if you stretch the trampoline net so much, it can rip, perhaps. And perhaps you can turn this trampoline net into a pretzel and allow yourself to go backwards in time. Have you ever questioned the reality of the cosmos and what intriguing mysteries the universe holds within itself? The reality of the cosmos and the mysteries it holds are beyond our imagination. Let's delve into the mystery of existence itself, led by Dr. Michio Koku and breathtaking information from the James Webb Telescope. Are you ready to challenge the very foundations of your understanding regarding time and the universe? In this video, we are going to learn about theoretical physics from the point of view of Dr. Marchio Koku. Dr. Koku undiscovered something absolutely mind-blowing by declaring the concept of time as nothing but an illusion. But that is not everything you should also get ready to embrace the astronomical twist, that even the most visionary thinkers were not able to foresee. The contribution of the James Webb Telescope in this regard cannot be ignored as it returned from the cosmos with the most challenging data. The well-known physicist Koku pushed the limits of his knowledge by inquiring how we perceive time. He claimed that time does not exist supported by the evidence from the James Webb Space Telescope. This claim of Dr. Koku initiated a heated debate along with new opportunities. Humans are always attracted to time. The rhythmic patterns on Earth such as the rising and setting of the sun and changing of seasons give us our common understanding of time. From the point of view of rhythmic cycles, one can observe that time moves continuously without any pause. The revolutionary claim of Dr. Koku that says time does not exist was only brought to light with the help of the James Webb Telescope. The legendary James Webb Telescope was launched on the 25 E sub R equals slow TH E sub of December 2021, and simultaneously it has taken its residence in space discovering the secrets from the most distant and mysterious corners of the universe. Time and space are like a fabric like rubber, like trampoline, that turns this trampoline head into pretzel and allow yourself to go backwards in time. Koku. James Webb's telescope is like a time machine consisting of unparalleled resolution and sensitivity which allows it to dig in the most distant galaxies. Hence, this great telescope is helping us in collecting all sorts of hidden information regarding the universe and its mysteries. The real problem is that the validity of Big Bang Theory, which has been our only source of information about the universe, and its existence for decades, is questioned. It means that the cosmological information our brains are processing for years is no more accurate now. The images of galaxies scientists got from the James Webb Telescope appear of the same size as the galaxies near us. If the universe is not expanding, we are left with a confusing conclusion. Here, we can take the example of a galaxy named Gigahertz 2 spotted by the James Webb Telescope. This galaxy is brighter than our Milky Way galaxy but its radius is very small, as it is calculated to be only 300 light years. On the other hand, the radius of our Milky Way galaxy is 50,000 light years far more than that of Gigahertz 2 galaxy. Isn't it shocking that a galaxy way smaller in radius than our Milky Way galaxy is brighter than our galaxy? Don't be shocked because the universe is full of such shocking mysteries. However, these revelations are producing a bit of quiver among cosmologists and astronomers. Within a few years, it became evident that the discovery of galaxies is a challenging task for astronomers, and after the launching of the James Webb Telescope, things have gotten more puzzling. The mighty James Webb Telescope put more sense in new discoveries in cosmology. Some theorists gave an idea about the merging of galaxies and the formation of full-size galaxies from them. But James Webb's telescope put more sense into these findings by taking a closer look, and claimed that there are no signs of such cosmic merging in space. Whenever you hear about colliding of galaxies you must expect them to show signs of damage, but to your surprise, it's nothing like that. The James Webb telescope highlighted that there are no visible signs of damage, but they are smooth and neat spirals. This mighty telescope denied another prediction of theorists. The telescope spotted 10 times more pristine spiral galaxies as compared to the prediction of the cosmological theorists. The idea about the expansion of tiny galaxies into their counterparts collapses if the galaxies didn't grow. This indicates that these galaxies are not even small, to begin with. Resultantly, the optical illusion one should expect from the expansion of the universe does not seem to be present. Hence other than the illusion, the concept of expansion loses its evidential basis. These all circumstances are creating a wave of uneasiness among the Big Bang enthusiasts. Hence, 
the smooth appearance of small galaxies suggests that the universe is not at all expanding and the Big Bang theory is nothing but an illusion. Now we need to consider another possible aspect if Big Bang is not able to justify all the queries. The Big Bang theory only claims that everything came into existence followed by a gigantic explosion. But if these galaxies existed even before the explosion, then it is impossible for the Big Bang explosion to even happen in the first place. These revelations from James Webb's telescope can be proven as a game-changer regarding our comprehension of the origin of the universe. For better understanding, consider the mighty James Webb's telescope as a time machine as Dr. Koku explained it. He observed that the images obtained from the telescope give a representation of the past and the origin of our universe. This telescope didn't snap pictures from our common visual spectrum which makes it unique from others. However, it is focused on the infrared revealing colors of galaxies from larger distances. The images are telling us a story about the age of stars and galaxies. The telescope successfully captured images of space entities along with their colors. These colors can help astronomers in predicting the age of stars in the so far galaxies. The images of the farthest galaxies captured by James Webb's telescope represent a cosmic glimpse from around 400 to 5. 100 million years after the origin of the universe. Surprisingly, few of these galaxies are supposed to be house stars with an age of more than a billion years. Now, the enthusiasts of Big Bang Theory can have problems with it, but the fact is if Big Bang Theory really exists then there should be nothing older than the Big Bang itself. The new snapshots from the universe highlight that there are 100 times more galaxies than the prediction at high redshifts. Isn't it awe-inspiring that the recent cosmic discoveries made by James Webb's telescope are a challenge to our basic understanding of the universe and the knowledge about the existence of the universe we have been perceiving from primary schools? As per recent cosmic research, the total 16 predictions of the Big Bang theory are wrong. The only prediction that is true is about the high abundance of deuterium, hydrogen. This theory also predicted double the amount of helium and 20 times more amount of lithium in the universe that we actually have. The Big Bang theory failed in explaining the massive structures present in the universe and the density of matter in the universe. James Webb's telescope is able to answer these cosmic paradoxes. The disagreements about cosmic theories may seem like little detail in this grand universe, but they are way far from being negligible. Because each minor fault is linked to the missing information regarding cosmic knowledge. If we ignore these minor errors, we will never be able to comprehend the whole nature of the universe and its origin. These anomalies question our understanding of cosmic entities, and the fabric of space-time relationships impacting our knowledge about the expansion of the universe, dark matter, the fate of the universe, and gravitational waves. For understanding the effect of minor errors in cosmic knowledge, just suppose that if the density of matter is not known, it will definitely influence our understanding regarding the formation and evolution of galaxies. The worst we can suffer from these minor errors is the influence of these implications on our understanding of time. As you all can see that our contemporary comprehension of time is affiliated with the evolution of the universe since the Big Bang. What will happen to time if the Big Bang theory is found incompetent? We may have to reshape the way we perceive time and its relation with space right now. Hence these observations can lead to a radical shift in our understating of space and time. We could be on the edge of new knowledge of the cosmos, where we would need to adjust our cosmic clock and compasses. The universe holds more surprises than we thought and with technological advancements like James Webb's telescope, it is even more possible that in the future we might be exposed to more amazing mysteries around the universe. Have you ever wondered whether time is a man-made concept or if it really exists? There is a theory that claims that time is not a reality but an illusion derived from memories of mankind. Just think casually that, time flows forward. Right? But surprisingly laws of physics don't actually describe it. The laws are irrespective of whether time moves backward or forward. Have you ever heard about the Big Crunch theory? If not then listen, this theory states that when the universe will finish its expansion it will start contracting and time might start to run backward. Einstein's theory of relativity supported the idea that time and space are interlinked. In this situation, all events whether from the past, present, or future have their own position in four-dimensional space-time which means that everything is as real as it is happening in the present time. However, the past and future are still somewhere in space-time. The MIT physicist Max Tegmark, 
also explained this concept saying that we could see our reality as a three-dimensional place where stuff actually happened with time, or a four-dimensional place where nothing happens at all. Now let's move towards the interesting perspective of the British physicist Julian Barber. He viewed reality as a series of distinct moments. He argues that our thoughts about the past are developed by memories from our brain. One feels like having a past just because he has memories of his past. However, the actual concept of the past might be an illusion. He gave spatial theory to further explain his concept. The spatial theory states that every now moment exists in a place within a vast landscape. Barber named that place, Plutonia. Every point in Plutonia illustrates a now, and Plutonia is also known as a land of perfect mathematical rules which makes it timeless. The perspective sounds quite familiar to Einstein's theory of space-time. With the passage of time theories are regularly being challenged, re-emerged, and sometimes replaced due to processes of inquiry and discovery with the progress in science. If we look back into cosmic history, we can see how theories and discoveries evolved over centuries. First, there was a geocentric model which stated that Earth is in the center of the solar system. Later comes Nicholas Copernicus, who proposed a radical idea that Earth is just another planet orbiting the Sun, eventually replacing the geocentric model. Then comes Isaac Newton who introduced the concept of gravity. He justified that Earth orbits the Sun and the Moon orbits the Earth, mainly due to their mutual gravitational pull. This concept of Newton's gravitational theory stayed valid for three centuries. However, the concept got replaced when in 1915, Albert Einstein gave his theory of relativity. This theory totally restated our understanding of gravity and space-time. He gave the idea that massive cosmic entities cause a curvature in the four-dimensional structure of space-time. Earth revolved around the Sun in its orbit by following this curve, which we assumed a gravitational pull. No theory is safe from challenges. Similarly, significant issues arise when Einstein's general relativity comes across quantum physics. Both work on different rules. Sabine Hossenfelder, theoretical physicist noted that a gravitational field cannot be present in two places at once as per Einstein's theory. But in quantum physics things are quite quirky, it insists that matter and energy can be in multiple states at once. This difference questioned the nature and location of the gravitational field. Hence, there is an evident tension between these two pillars of physics, general relativity and quantum theory. Now, in the world of physics, there is a race to find a theory that could merge gravity and quantum mechanics. During this race, the world of physics came across the string theory. This theory states that the tiniest subatomic particles are composed of vibrating strings. You can visualize this concept by considering the strings of the guitar. To make this unification happen, these strings need to resonate throughout 11 dimensions. We are familiar with seven more than four dimensions of Einstein's theory. Till now there is no sound evidence that these extra dimensions do exist in reality or not. Some physicists got stimulated by the concerns of string theory and got the idea of another concept named loop quantum gravity. It suggests that time and space are composed of a series of loops, evoking a structure even at the smallest scale. According to physicists, to operate such a minute scale, we need a particle accelerator that is a thousand trillion times more strong than CERN's Large Hadron Collider. Astronomers have employed distant gamma-ray bursts to search for support of loop quantum gravity over the past decade. These bursts, born from collapsing massive stars, exhibit an unexplained distortion in their spectrum. Uncertainty lingers over whether this distortion arises during their journey or originates from their source. To achieve true progress, it might be necessary to reconsider Einstein's notion that space-time is a seamlessly continuous fabric. Laurent Friedel, Robert Lee, and George Hermannick challenge conventional thought proposing that space-time emerges from quantum interactions rather than merging with them. This fresh perspective could potentially unravel the enigma of entanglement, where instant connections between distant particle changes seemingly defy the limits of light speed. Friedel, Lee, and Hermannick delve into the intricacies of this quantum gravity concept, contemplating a quantum world intertwined with gravity, 
distinct from the paradigm of loop quantum gravity. Their next stride involves integrating time into their model. While this might seem abstract and confined to the realm of academia, the implications hold the power to reshape our everyday lives. The comprehension of space-time deeply influences our grasp of gravity and quantum theory, underpinning modern technology. Sabine Hossenfelder underscores the significance, emphasizing that our existing devices are rooted in our understanding of quantum structure within space-time. As the reigning space-time theory stands on the brink of displacement, new contenders prepare to emerge, heralding an era of fresh revelations in theoretical physics. And there you have it, an enthralling journey through the captivating world of space, time, and the intricate mysteries that lie beyond. Dr. Michio Koku's thought-provoking insights have challenged our very understanding of existence, and the revelations brought forth by the James Webb Telescope have unveiled new dimensions of possibility.